Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So we're gonna do another one of these massive geodes from Just For You Online UK. And I'll put the link for that in the description so you guys can get all the details on the size and how much it holds and everything. But in terms of the materials that we're using today, first of all, I don't know if you can tell, but it's already really shiny. I do have a layer of resin already in there that's already dry. And in that layer of resin, I put Stone Coat Countertops Blue Glow Powder. So that is actually glow in the dark blue. And that is also one of the colors I'm using today. Very excited. Um, just for you online UK, Chameleon Violet Blue is another one we're using. Stone Coat Countertops Pearl Metallic. Um, Alumalite Violet Translucent Dye and Alumidust Deep Purple. So this one's obviously gonna be purple. And then this is uh, Rebel Pigments, which is also from Just For You Online UK. And I'm using the Majestic Purple. It's a little hard to see because it's small. And then I'll be using some of these Ashland Decorative Filler glass pieces. So that was a lot of stuff, but it's gonna be really pretty, I think. Basically, it's gonna be purple and white, or purple and pearl, kind of. But I'm kind of excited about the blue glow because you should be able to see through to that, plus we're gonna use it in the top. And the resin we're using is the Stone Coat Countertops Countertop Epoxy. So I'm actually gonna start by putting some of the clear in the middle. And that's where I'm gonna be putting down some stones. So we'll start with that. These are just pretty inexpensive glass pieces. You can use anything like this or rocks, kind of whatever you want. And instead of doing, I'm not going for like a circular pattern on this one. I'm gonna actually push down as much as possible. And then I kind of want it to be in a bit of a line as if there's kind of just some crystals peeking out if that makes sense. All right, then we're gonna get in here with our colors. So I'm gonna start with the blue glow around that glass. The blue glow is kind of, um, it's almost transparent. Well, it's transparent, but it's almost clear, I guess. Just like a hint of color, I guess you could say. And then let's see. I'm getting here with some of the Illumidust Purple. Very pretty. Already liking this. <laughs> All right. Now we'll go with, um, you know what? I'm going to go with some of the purple dye. This is kind of going to be our dark contrast color. It looks sort of black but it's not, it's just a really deep purple. And after I peel this out of the mold and I'm kind of holding up to the light and stuff, you'll definitely be able to see that better. All right, now we'll go in with some of the pearl. I love, love, love this pearl. I'm gonna put a nice big section of that. And also in this layer of pearl, I am going to add a few more of the stones. And I think I will add it over here. So it's kind of just gonna be like a little strip of the crystals peeking out over here too. Trying to mostly keep it to the pearl. All right, I like that. And I think I'm also going to go with just a little bit right over here. Okay, good. 
Okay. Moving right along. So I think next I'm going to go in with the Chameleon Violet. And this is kind of a glittery, glittery pearl kind of color, which depending on the light you're looking at it in, looks blue or purple. Really pretty. And then we're going to get back to the purples. I'm going to go in with that Luma Dust again. Trying to keep this one as simple as possible. So here's the, the purple dye again, that darker color. So you'll probably notice that I'm kind of pouring a bit more in certain sections. Okay, and then I still have not yet used the magnetic purple. So that is going to be, I think the last color I use on here. And I'm gonna just kind of fill up the edges with that. So I'm going to spread some out in this corner and then we'll top it off with I think some more of the blue purple dye. So just right here in the very corner. Okay, good. All right. Now we're pretty full here. I've actually covered basically everything. I do want to get in here with a little bit more of the blue glow though. And I'm going to kind of pour that over some of the areas here that have the stones. And a little more in here. Keep in mind, of course, the resin will move as it dries. Do just a little strip over here too. So you'll likely not see like a whole bunch of glow or anything. Oops. Damn it. In this corner, I'm gonna add a little, a little too dark for me. I'm gonna add a little of this chameleon violet. Hopefully that stays there. Okay, cool. Now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just hit it real quick with the heat gun. And then what we're gonna do is just leave it, let it dry. And then I will come back, I'll put another clear layer over it, just clear. And then we'll come back for, you know, the big reveal, the unpeeling. So let's hit it with the heat gun. Okay, that's all there is to it, so we will be back. All right, we're back. Time for the big reveal. So I put that top coat, and in that I did put the a tiny bit of the Stone Coat Countertops Diamond Dust, just to give it kind of that extra sparkly look. This middle layer of glass pieces does stick out a little bit. These other two littler areas ended up being pretty much completely hidden. If I wanted to, but I don't, um, I could put another layer of resin over this, which would fully cover this. Like if I were to make this into a tabletop, that's what I would do. But this is already a pretty thick piece and I plan on it being a wall piece, not a tabletop. So I think it could even be a tabletop. All right. So here we go. That is awesome. The back even looks cool. And you know what we still need to do? We need to look at it in the dark. So hold on just a second. Let me go.
go ahead and get the black light out and we'll look at it in the dark. Okay, so this is with the black light on and you can see around here is where I put the blue glow on this side. And then of course some moved around and also the entire back had the blue glow on it. Now of course, because it's a black light, also anything that has white is going to glow. But we'll go ahead and we'll turn the black light off. And for at least a little bit, we'll be able to see that glow really good. Here we go. Cool. Actually, this stuff glows really well. Look at that. That is awesome. And turn it around. So just a little bit on this side. I really wish I could show it how it looks in person because in person this has a lot more glow than it does in the camera. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. And other exciting news is Just For You Online UK, which is the company that makes the mold for this and also several of the products I used in here like some of the glitters and stuff. They have offered to do a giveaway with you guys where they were going to give away one of these molds. These molds are so awesome. And then I think they're also gonna throw in some of their awesome glitter. So check in the description please for how to enter that giveaway. And it is open to everyone. Just so you guys know too on the giveaways, not all paints and resins and other chemical liquids can be shipped anywhere in the world, okay? Luckily, the silicone molds can be. <laughs> so anyways, don't ever feel excluded if your country is not able to enter. It just, it kind of is what it is with shipping regulations. But um, yeah, good luck and we'll see you next time.